In Activity 3, The Moon Rises and Sets, students come to understand the daily motion of the moon by observing its path over the course of a school day. They first discuss what is meant by sunrise and sunset. They then observe and record the position of the moon every 30 minutes for several hours and discover that the moon appears to move across the sky just like the sun and learn what causes moonrise and moonset. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 3, Parts A and B, D-cell batteries, flashlight, and masking tape. You will also need to provide boxes of crayons, a globe, a marker, and a timer or clock. To prepare for Session 1, make a copy of Activity Sheet 3, Part A for each student. Conduct this session on a clear morning, 7 to 10 days after the full moon. At that stage in the lunar cycle, the moon rises in the hours after midnight and sets in early afternoon. The moon should be visible during most of the school day, yet far enough ahead of sunrise so as not to disappear in its glare. Locate a window from which the moon is visible during the day. A large, south-facing window is best. Each team of two will need a box of crayons. You will need a flashlight with batteries, a timer or clock, a roll of tape, and a marker. To begin session one, ask students, what does sunrise mean? When is sunrise? Then ask, what does sunset mean? When is sunset? Explain that sunrise is the appearance of the sun above the horizon, marking the start of daylight hours, and that sunset is the disappearance of the sun below the horizon, marking the start of the nighttime hours. Next, have students think about what happens to the sun during the day. They probably have observed that it appears to move across the sky. Then ask students, where is the sun at night? Students may say that the sun goes down at night. Ask, what do you think causes the sun to rise and set? Students will probably reply that the sun moving around Earth causes it to rise and set. Accept all reasonable answers. Turn out the classroom lights. Have students stand at their desks facing you while you stand in front of the room, shining a flashlight toward students. Then tell them to turn slowly around until their backs are to you. Ask students if they can see the flashlight now. They cannot. Ask students, has the flashlight moved, or have you? Tell students to imagine that the flashlight is the sun and they are Earth. Repeat the activity. Then ask, has the sun moved, or has Earth? Students should observe that Earth moved. Inform students that Earth is constantly turning and that sunrise and sunset are caused by the turning of Earth. During the day, one side of Earth has turned toward the sun. By nighttime, that side of Earth has turned away from the sun. Next, use the classroom globe to model what you have just told students. Model day and night by shining the flashlight on the globe while spinning it. Remind the students of how they observed the moon in the sky during the day. Ask students, does the moon move across the sky? Students may or may not have observed this happening. Have students gather around the window you have chosen to use for the moon watch. Tell them to find the moon in the sky. Have one student volunteer mark the position of the moon with a piece of tape on the window and record the time on the piece of tape. You may want to put a piece of tape on the floor to mark the observation spot. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 3, Part A to each student and a box of crayons to each team of two. Guide students to record the moon sighting by drawing an X in the window on their sheets. After 30 minutes, have another volunteer note the location of the moon. You should repeat this exercise three or four more times for a total of five to six readings over the course of two to three hours. Each time, have students record the location of the moon on their activity sheets. Collect the boxes of crayons, return the tape to the kit, Leave the tape marks on the window and collect student activity sheets for use in Session 2. To prepare for Session 2, make a copy of Activity Sheet 3, Part B for each student. Students will also need Part A from Session 1. Clear an area in the classroom where students can role-play the rotation of Earth. Each team of two will need a box of crayons. You will need a roll of tape. Redistribute Activity Sheet 3, Part A. Ask students to observe the pattern of the tape pieces on the window and on their activity sheets. Remind them that the tape marks stand for the location of the moon in the sky at certain times of the day. Ask students, what do the positions of the tape marks tell you about the moon? 
the moon moves across the sky over the course of the day. Have students complete question two on part A of the activity sheet. Then, review what is meant by the words straight and curved and note that the line is curved. Ask, how will the moon move next? Students should be able to predict the movement of the moon based on previous sightings. Using masking tape, mark several students' predictions on the window. Then, make one more observation and compare it with students' predictions. Ask students, what do you think would happen if we kept watching to see where the moon moved for the rest of the day? Students should conclude that eventually the moon would get so low in the sky that they would no longer be able to see it. Elicit that it would set, just like the sun sets. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 3, Part B, to each student and a box of crayons to each team of two. Help students complete the sheet. Remind students that the turning of Earth causes sunrise and sunset. Ask students, what do you think causes the moon to appear to move across the sky? Students may guess the turning of Earth also causes the moon to appear to move across the sky. Have students work in groups of three to model moon rise and moon set. First, have the student playing the sun stand a distance away from the students playing Earth and the moon. Then, have the student playing the moon stand between the students playing the sun and Earth, but off to one side. Instruct Earth to begin turning around in place to simulate the rotation of Earth on its axis. Ask students, what happens every time Earth turns around? Guide students to understand that both the moon and sun disappear from Earth's sight, then reappear again. Have students switch roles so that all students have an opportunity to observe this. Next, tell students that, like the sun, the moon appears to rise and set in the sky. And like sunrise and sunset, moonrise and moonset are caused by the turning of Earth, not by the movement of the moon. Tell students that in the next activity, they are going to watch the moon change shape from one day to the next. To conclude the activity, remove the tape marks from the window and return the roll of tape to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM teacher's guide.